Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back finally to a ramble session. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. So glad to be back. It has been over a month since I have filmed a ramble session, since I have filmed anything. Yes, lots of things have been going on here at the house. And um, yeah, in all honesty, I just wasn't prepared for it. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Anyway, we'll get into that. But um, if you're new here, I'm Elizabeth. I am Never Hopeless here on YouTube. Never Hopeless by Elizabeth. And welcome if you're new. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you for checking in. I appreciate it. And speaking of thanking you, thank you guys so much for your lovely, concerned uh, emails and messages to me wondering where I have been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I said, it just, uh, I've been really super busy and I was just unprepared because, uh, I didn't realize just how busy I was going to be. So, uh, and unfortunately not very busy here in the craft room, you know? So, We'll go over some of those things, but I did want to make mention and thank y'all so much for your concern. I really do appreciate it. Everything is um, fine, pretty close to dandy, not not quite dandy, but everything's fine here, uh, as, as fine as it will be <laughs> for right now. So let's see, before I get into all of this yumminess, um... Let's see. Uh, yeah, my daughter. So when she, the, well, let me think. The last time I filmed was August 6th, and I only remember that because y'all know my pea brain and memory issues. The only reason I remember that is because she had just gotten back. Well, first of all, August 6th was her birthday, her 22nd birthday. And she had returned home after her two week whirlwind vacation out west with her grandparents and my husband's family. So she had a fabulous time. And the day after she got back, it was a Tuesday, and she and I hit the ground running. Now, if you'll remember from my last ramble session, I don't know if you do or not because it was over a month ago. Uh, my daughter had accepted a position to become a fifth grade language arts teacher at the little school that she works at. So uh, then she found out that she was actually going to have her own classroom. So yeah, for two weeks after my last ramble session aired, we were busy, busy, busy at the school, setting up our classroom, going shopping, getting school supplies, getting classroom supplies, um, you know, I was helping her with her planning. I was helping her, you know, set up her classroom, all that kind of stuff. So we got all that done and she is having a fabulous time. She has a great group of kids and yeah, it's going rather well. And so, yeah, super proud of her. So that's what's been going on in her life. And then my son, he's doing his same old, same old thing. So yeah, he's, uh, still working out where my husband works and he's in classes right now and will be for the next few months and he's doing really well and making me so proud getting high scores on all of his quizzes and tests and he's brilliant and so yes I expect nothing less um so yeah he's doing really great except he got a cold I don't know I don't know if my mother-in-law gave him her cold or if he just happened to get it out at work you know the stuff travels really fast out there so yeah, he's getting over a cold, but um, yeah, hasn't missed a day of work or anything like that. And uh, making sure to wash his hands and keep clean so he doesn't spread his little gremlin germs all over everybody. So that is my son. Now, uh, I did mention my in-laws. My in-laws are in town. That is another reason why I have not been filming of late. Uh, if you remember, again, it was over a month ago, my last ramble session, I said my in-laws were going to be coming into town. When they come into town, I'll briefly explain, they come into town to work. They are contract workers. They work where my husband and son work. Uh, and that was just a weird noise. I don't know what that was. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, so they generally come, they work seasonally. So they come into town and they could be here uh, anywhere from like two months out of the year to six months out of the year, depending, you know, depending on the work schedule. So what ends up happening is they both come into town and their bedroom is directly behind my craft room. Okay. And they have a door on their bedroom, but my craft room I share, it's kind of like a pass through room. <laughs> so I don't have doors that close my craft room off to the rest of the house. And so it, you know, it makes it rather difficult to film while my in-laws are here. Now, when my in-laws get here, my mom, my mom generally goes right out, you know, my mother-in-law, I mean, I call her my mom, but you know what I'm saying? She generally goes right into working. And then my father-in-law doesn't get called in for a few weeks at this point time or this time he didn't get called in until today which meant that he was here for three weeks you know with me right behind me there so yeah it's a little uncomfortable you know what I'm saying like I don't want to sit out here and talk to myself or appear like I'm talking to myself <laughs> with him in the next room so yeah that kind of puts a damper on my filming so um that's the main reason you know that and just general life you know got in the way but um, yeah, so that's a large part of the reason why I have not been filming of late. Uh, today is the first day I have the house all to myself. And let me tell you what, it is a glorious, glorious feeling. Let me, let me just listen for the noise that I'm hearing. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Both my dogs are behaving huh, for once. Okay, so. Let's see. So many things I want to share with you. Okay. Um, I haven't been all too busy, like I said, in my craft room because I've been busy elsewhere. Oh, I forgot to uh, catch up on Big Handsome's Health Saga. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still a saga. Still continuing. So, uh, this past Friday, we had a very long day at the hospital. From the time we got up in the morning till the time we got home, it was 11 hours. 11 hours. Oh, my gosh. My poor big handsome. Uh, what he ended up having, do, having um, done, I guess, is he had a surgical procedure called an RFA treatment in his esophagus. So, uh, yeah. Uh, essentially, this will probably be TMI. But I tell y'all pretty much everything. Yeah. So he had to go in. He's been going in once every six to eight weeks since January to have tumors removed within his esophagus. So they have um, hopefully got, removed all the tumors in there. And so the next step was to go in there and cauterize the affected area of his esophagus in the hopes of eradicating his Barrett's esophagus or Barrett's syndrome, which is a condition due to extreme GERD or acid reflux. So working on that. Now that has nothing to do at all with why he cannot eat food um, or eat, you know, like a normal person for lack of a better term. So yeah, we're still dealing with that. Now he did get a phone call last week from uh, the doctor's assistant saying that he, his um, urinalysis came back a little funky. And so, well, his blood work came back funky too. So he has to go repeat some uh, a test for his blood test. And then with his urinalysis, they found some kind of P word. Um, isn't, isn't that ironic, huh? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's something having to do with his hemoglobin. Now his hemoglobin, uh, levels, uh, all of them, I guess were normal ish, uh, whatever, but there's something in his hemoglobin. It's one thing it's called a P anyway, it was elevated. And so, um, that can indicate a condition called porphyria. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's about. All I know is that it's genetic. Um, there are several different types of it. The symptoms do go right along with what he's been experiencing. Um, the bad news is that 
if it goes untreated, it can lead to kidney and liver problems. So we don't know if he has it yet. So his doctor is sending him to a hematologist. So once he gets all that stuff taken care of, uh, hopefully we will learn more about what's going on with him. And maybe this is the answer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and thank you all so much for your continued prayers for my big handsome and my family in general. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, I think I've gotten you all caught up on that. Okay, so some of the things I've been working on. Oh gosh, I've missed you guys so much. I can't tell you. If I could just reach in and like just hug you guys. There's your hug. There's your hug. A nice warm fuzzy hug. I've missed y'all. I've missed y'all so much. Okay, so these are my Fobonichis. These are some of the things I've been working on. Okay, I did finally... These are not finished, but I did finally sew in my signatures for my little girl's journals, okay? So now I have to go back in. It's one single signature sewn in with a pamphlet stitch. I have shown these on a live stream once, um, and I have shown them in other ramble sessions. They are fabric covered, and they have a blanket stitch around. They're super duper cute, so yeah. I've got three of these that I still have to embellish, okay? And this one gets a flower on the front instead of one of these little baggy things. Okay, so yeah, I've been working on those steadily, but surely. Okay, um, this is my project for today, all right? I've got two little golden books here that I'm going to finish making a junk journal out of this one here get that all embellied up and get it ready to go. And then I think I'm also gonna work on this at the same time because if you're doing one, well, why not do two at the same time, right? Okay, so I've got that to work on today. Uh, Fobonichi front, <clears throat> excuse me, there's Fred. Okay, take a gander, all right? <laughs> oh, it goes this way. Okay, sorry if I'm shaking you about. This one is my semi-completed July and August 2018. Look at that fatty. Ooh, so fat and glorious. Okay, so let's see. Toward the end, you'll see these all in a flip through. Uh, yeah, I have not finished this, okay? I have not finished it. So yeah, I stopped on the 26th. I mean, obviously on the 26th, we watched TV. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I still have my notes in my phone. I put the weather in and everything. Uh, this was like a, a photocopy of an envelope I had done for a friend that I sent some happy mail to. Uh, apparently on one of these days, either Wednesday or Thursday, I must have drank a whole lot of coffee. So, yeah, I have not finished this book. However, oh, there's the 31st blank. I might go back. I don't know. We shall see. Yeah, that was right around the time like my in-laws came in and I was still helping my daughter and all that kind of jazz. So if it gets done, it gets done. If it doesn't, it doesn't. No worries. No worries on my part. Okay, on the shelf she goes. This is my September book. Now, did I do? Nope. See, I haven't even done anything to the back cover. I was actually away for a week and a half down south. Uh, my husband and his and his dad were putting in new flooring at the hideaway. So I did the inside cover, have not done my pockets, have not even really printed out another set of my labels yet. I'm just behind. But I am all caught up in my book, right? There's my last page that I did. You'll see these all in a flip through. Oh, and these are glued together. Okay. So, yeah. Now, um... Some changes to my book this go round or for the second month in a row, I should say. These are stuck together. Huh? Um, I have not been gluing my pages. Okay. I didn't glue my pages in my other book, my July, August book, and I didn't glue them in here simply because I just do not have the time. Um, do I like it? Not particularly, but it is what it is and I'm working with it. And so there's that. Okay. So I am actually all caught up in this book. So that's why today I have a lot more time to work on other projects. Okay, so I have that. There's my Fobonichi. I have so many videos that I want to tape for you guys. Okay, um, 
I really ought to be writing a list. I guess when I look at this video over again, I will, I will write a list. So this is a faux flow book that I received from a dear friend in a swap that I had joined. And I still have to do the video on that showing everything that was in there. I am super duper late on that and I am so sorry. And then also in August, I received my second flow, faux flow from a swap, okay? Um, and it is so super sweet. This was from a gal over in um, England. And it's just adorable. So many cute things. Yeah, I will go through all of this. And then look at this beautiful. Merci. A little charm there. Soldered. Beautiful. Um, seam binding. This was actually made out of a paper bag, which is super duper adorable. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then she sent this gorgeous coffee stain uh, glassy bag, all decorated and beautiful. And so, yes, I'm going to show all of these in a separate video. So there's that. Let's see. Oh, this was fun. I did this last week. I was feeling in a creative mood. <laughs> Gosh, and um, I had been watching Karen Campbell. She is super fun to watch. I will link her below. Um, and she was doing like a fashion, a fashion illustration face where it's like more sculpted face and all that. So I decided to try my hand at it. I called her Faith, and then after I was done with her. Um, my inner critic was kind of attacking my thoughts. And so I just decided to write the whole conversation out all over her. So <laughs> that was really fun. And then what it sparked me to do was actually go to Michael's and um, get some stuff. Okay, so I'll have a, a short little, um, what's it called? Like a, a haul. Okay, sorry for the glare. Not all of this has to do with that, but where'd my other book go? Oh, okay, yeah. So I went and got one of these, which is an extra large watercolor. It is 140 pound watercolor paper. It's cold press, and which means that it has like a, what's it called? Like a texture on it, cold press. Uh, hot press paper is more flat. And so anyhow, I wanted something that was like in the end, well, this is seven by 10 inches, right? But what I like to do, and if you've been on my channel at all, you know, when I do something like this, this is a big piece of paper, like nine by 12 or something. And when I do something like this, I like to photocopy it and put it in my Fobonichi to, you know, say that this is what I did today. But I wanted something that had smaller pages in it. So I think I'm going to make this book into my face sketchbook. And yeah, try a lot of different things. Try to hone my skills. Try to learn as much as I can because I do love painting faces. Um, although I find painting faces quite difficult and I struggle with it a lot. I much prefer just graphite. Uh, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, kids. I'm going to do it. So there's that. A few other things I got, just a cheapo set of watercolor paintbrushes specifically for watercolor because I don't have them. I don't generally, generally work with watercolor, but I'm going to try it because you know what? Why not? Okay. Then I got this uh, Derwent watercolor set. These are watercolor pencils. And so yeah, I'm going to have fun using those. And oh, you know what else? They gave me a little candle and it smells really good. Pumpkin spice chai. Yeah, it was at Michael's. She was just like, oh, here, we're giving out candles. So I was like, sure, why not? Okay, so there's that. I finally got a set of Ink Joy gel pens. Okay, finally. Like, how long has it been since these have been out? But I finally got them. I do not like them. Uh, wait, let me, okay, rewind. I like them. I like them a lot. They write fantastic. However, in my Fobonichi, I would rather use felt tip pens. I just like the way that they work better. Um, I don't know, I can control them better. These are really smooth writing and really great pens for other things that I use them for, like outlining things or whatever, or just jotting notes down. So yeah, got those as well. And then the saga, which you guys don't know, of my Jean Davenport. Okay, I had a uh, the ink 
ink credible pen. I had a black one originally. And so a couple weeks ago I had gone to Michael's and I had picked up the ink cartridges, you know, like the colorful ink cartridges. <laughs> so I got home and this one happens to be purple. But when I got home with my black pen, I had put the ink cartridge in. I felt it click. Okay. And I couldn't write with it. It would not write. So I went online and found Jane Davenport's site where she's cleaning her ink credible pen. I did all of that. It still would not write. I got so frustrated. I jammed the pen down on my desk out of frustration. And, you know, hence breaking it. Okay. Thus breaking it. Whatever. So I had all this ink and whatever. So I went and got another pen. Okay. Now, what I learned is that when I put the ink cartridge in, I heard it click. I did. But I jammed this thing in. Like, I didn't bang it or anything. I learned my lesson from ruining the last pen. But I pushed this really, really hard, and then it was a louder click. So I actually had two clicks, and it works like a dream now. Ugh. If I had only known that before. So yeah, having fun with that. Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to show you. I had bought my daughter, where'd it go now? I had bought my daughter a stamp like this. Okay, it looks like this. And it came all the way from Lithuania. And uh, I it was an ex Libris stamp. It was to stamp her name into her uh, school library books, you know, her own personal books that she has purchased for her student library. I wanted to give this to her as a, you know, teacher gift. And so I liked her so much that I ordered my own. <laughs> nah. Because I'm selfish that way. And so this is how it came out. I hope you can see it, right? It has my Never Hopeless on it. It has Elizabeth Wallace, my name on it, and a pretty little design on it. Yeah. And I like it a lot. And so now I can stamp this on anything that I make. And I will have a little signature plate thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, last thing on the docket is crochet. All right, I think I've told I think I've shared everything else. Okay. So this I finally kind of, not really, I'm not sure yet, finished. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. This sand dollar blanket, okay? It is called sand dollar and surf blanket. And I learned it from Krista on The Secret Yarnery. I will put all the links of everyone I've mentioned below, okay? This is the sand dollar. This is the water. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's sand. I don't know. Um, and then this is the same color as a sand dollar. And it is four squares by five squares. And when she did a different border on hers, okay? Now, if you'll notice, my border is all blah, 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 like that, okay? And I really, really absolutely hated it at the beginning. But now I'm thinking, you know what? It It's fine because that's how water is. Water is blah, 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 okay? Now, I'm not sure if... I think I'm going to put some like scallops on it as well. I might put a few stripes of this white or off-white on it. And I might actually use this darker brown here to put the scallops on the outer edge. So we'll see how that goes, right? So yeah, there's that. And it's super sweet. I really like it a lot. I like it a lot. And I had fun doing it. Will I ever do it again? Probably not. Um, but it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. Okay, so I'm done with that pretty much, sort of, not really, but whatever. I'll get it done when I get it done. And then I've been working on, ta-da, these, okay? <laughs> this is what I've been doing while I wait at the hospital for my husband. So I've been making these sweet little um, Christmas ornaments. Aren't those darling? Yeah, super easy to make, super duper easy to make. In, in these colors, I love these more like vintage -y colors. Yeah. So different patterns, different colors, just different, different. Um, so I'm going to make a whole mess more of these because I think I want to give some of them to my daughter so that she can give her kids a little like Christmas gift, you know. 
um, to something, you know, to hang on their tree to remember her. And what else? Um, yeah, so I've been making these. I will leave the link below to where I learned how to make them. They're super, they're adorable. And the filling inside are all your tails. Brilliant, okay? Yeah, and it has like a little loop that you crochet on, you know, as you're going, going around. Yeah, I really like them a lot. So I've been working on that. Yeah, okay. So I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, yeah. Okay, I wanted to put a plug in for my dear friend Brooke um, on Recreations by Brooke, okay? Lately, she has turned me on to YouTube live sales, okay? And um, I'm just a lurker, really, uh, but they are super fun. And what they do is the person who's, you know, is the content creator puts on a live and they they have Etsy stores and all that kind of stuff but they do a live sale okay and they are super fun to watch and I watched one from Jessica Rapp the other night I've watched like two of Jessica's I think and um and then last night I watched one from Selena and her grew or her uh, channel name is she's such a cutie too um her what is her name on YouTube? Uh, Amour Fabrique, I believe. I will leave all the links below. And of course, Brooke's link, Recreations by Brooke. She will be going live for a live sale tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tuesday, what will the date be? Oh golly, I hope I got this right. Tuesday the 18th, she will be doing a live sale at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna do my best to show up um, the only thing is, is that from 6 to 8 p.m. on any given night is my family time. So that's the only time I get to see my husband. It's the only time, you know, I get to see the kids and the family and all of that all in one room all together. So I'm going to do my best to be there, but I wanted to let you guys know she'll be selling things that, you know, go in her Etsy store. I'm not exactly sure what. Like, I, she'll probably be selling little golden books for journals, uh, possibly vintage ephemera, um, you know, all, all stuff like that. Like, stuff to make junk journals with and everything, because she's got some really fabulous stuff. So, yeah, Brooke, Recreations by Brooke, going live. You heard it, going live for a live sale tomorrow, Tuesday at 6 p.m., uh... Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so check it out, check it out, check it out. I really hope that I can join her at least for part of it. Okay, now I'm really done, I think. So sorry this went on for so long, but I've missed you guys and I had a lot to share. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm hoping to get back into the swing of things. Oh, the other thing I wanted to ask you guys too. If there are any videos that you would like to see or that that like that I said I was gonna film. <laughs> and did not film yet yeah leave them in the comments below okay leave them in the comments below I'm going to be filming this whole week I'm going to be doing a lot of filming okay so I'm going to be filming a lot of flip throughs because I need to catch up on those um I'm going to be filming my faux float swap journals that were so fabulous and I thank thank my swap partners so much for them and yeah, if there's anything else, you know, if you have any questions, if you want a video response, if there, like I said, if there's something that I said I was going to do and completely forgot to do it, um, let me know, you know, uh, in the comments below. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm really done. How many times have I said that? Okay. I'm heading on 30 minutes here. You guys are probably falling asleep. So I hope y'all have a great, great day and a wonderful rest of your week. And I thank you so much for your loving kindness and I wish y'all the best. And I will be back, um, real soon. I will be, I will be. Yeah. Okay. Bye guys.